Hello, hello everybody, this is Centric. Welcome back to Mega Man Legends. That previous episode ran a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, but since that was nothing but subquests, I'm gonna finally move on to the next dungeon. I guess I should just see if there's anything in Mega Man's room. I don't remember if there is. Cactus, the most soon deer of all plants. He's a good conversation partner. I forgot he freaking talks to the cactus for some reason. It's an antique clock. Roll we'll gave it to you for your birthday. Okay. So a strange present, but alright. First aid box, but you don't really need it as long as Dave's around. Yeah, that kind of implies he's not human. Which they never even acknowledge for a while. Guess I'll check the TV real quick. Okay, yeah, it's not ready yet. Fine. What about Barrel? Anything about him? Slowing down my old age, Mega Man. Won't you be able to help? I won't be able to help you like I used to. I'll just stay here and watch TV. Why don't you stay and watch TV with me for a while? See, so look there, it's Catalog's Island. That's kind of sad. Let's say something like that, old man. I don't know why I bother doing that. Well, now I can go to the dungeon. Go to the subgate. Yes, go to the subgate. Promise we're doing the dungeon? We're doing the bloody dungeon. Up and away! Save here just in case anything happens. Shouldn't happen because I'm just so pro with this game. <laughs> but you never know what will happen. Oh, yeah. And I just remembered well, not just remembered, but I remembered recently that, um, <clears throat> well, the dungeons in this one aren't so big. The dungeons in uh, Mega Man Legends 2, if I remember right, are actually roughly the size of 3D Zelda dungeons. As in, a lot bigger than the ones in this one. So, that means much more action happening. So I look forward to that. I've never seen a site like this before. There's a big pit in the middle, and I can't get any reading from inside. Oh, yeah. I wonder what could be in there. This dungeon's even creepier than the last two. Mega Man? Are you okay? Can you see a door somewhere? Yeah, I do. You know what else I see? I see another door. And I see an elevator that has no Looks power. Like the power's off there, too. Maybe you'll find, be able to find the generator somewhere in there. Oh, yeah, this dungeon. Actually, I think this might be the... I think this dungeon's even bigger than the last one. Oh, I guess the other one wasn't exactly huge. It was like five or so rooms. I can't get any readings of that room, Mega Man. My monitor's completely blank. Take a look around and let me know what you see. Will do. You see a bunch of creepy consoles is what you see. It's my guess the power's out in that room. Can you see a switch anywhere? Nope. I don't see any switches, but there's some writing here. Let's see. It says, Operations Room 2. Emergency System Activation 
requires direct password input from Eden or the insertion of three level two or higher prototype anthro unit ID cards. What's a prototype anthro unit? I've never heard of that before. Well, whatever that is, you need three ID cards, right? If we're lucky, you'll be able to find them inside there. Yeah, here's the point where you start figuring out that there's a little something... world's not as it seems in this game. Or in Mega Man Legends than it is compared to the other Mega Man games. Oh, there has been some things that have happened since ZX. Since this takes place after ZX, this is actually the last... Oh, Jesus! Um, this is actually, uh... I guess you should say, in the out of the Mega Man, like, the main Mega Man timeline, story-wise, this is the last part of the series. Oh, Jesus. The order goes, uh... Original Mega Man, and then Mega Man X, Mega Man Zero, 100 years later, well... Yeah, it was original Mega Man, then like a hundred years la later is Mega Man X, ow. And then, uh... Another hundred years later is Mega Man Zero, I think. And then a few hundred years later, after that, is, uh, the ZX games. And then, uh... Jeez. More like, uh... God, it's probably been... I think story-wise, it's almost freaking 5,000, 6,000 years later after the exit of this game takes place. And you're probably wondering, well, how would you know that? And the hint comes from the Japanese title of the game. Because the Japanese title is uh, <coughs> Mega Man Dash, except it's all capital letters with a uh, point. Oh, well, like points, because like a... a uh, abbreviation for something. Well, the H in that title stands for Halcyon Days, or Halcyon Days. I'm not sure which... Uh, was. Oh! I just got slapped by a door. Uh, and, uh... The Halcyon Days, or Halcyon Days, however you want to pronounce it, are supposed to be a time around the year 8000 like fictional or like future time around the year 8000 where technology has advanced so much that there is no more issues of not having energy like society as a, ho society as a whole never has to fight over energy sources again which that's sort of true in this game except they still just rob each other every now and then. But, I mean, they're still pirates, but they're more like robbing each other for money rather than for, uh, energy. It's kind of weird. Oh, jeez. Pretty little thing. Which is essentially the second strongest weapon in this game. Oh yeah, remember how I said the, uh, the little shield, the shield I found was sort of ominous? That's why. Now we've got shield weapons. Strangely, have like a Japanese hat for some reason, a samurai hat for some reason. Now, don't worry, I saw this hole. I don't remember what's in it though. God, just more money. Come on, there's gotta be something. I need something more than money. Oh crap, I guess that's. Alright, back down.
Hole in the wall. Something. Antique bell. I think that's another thing for the museum. Another hole. Um, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Okay. I'm gonna deal with you first. You're easier to deal with. Ow. Easier on me. That's one ID card. Um, come on, game. Did you find something, Mega Man? Yes, I did. I think I found an ID card. Good going. I'll go back to that control room once I found the other. Found the others. Jeez. But I'll get a little. I don't want to spoil anything yet. But uh, I'll get a little more into details about the story once I get towards the end of this game and get into. Mega Man Legends 2. This, the story is actually pretty interesting. At least to me. Holes. Something at home. More money, come on! Enough with the money. Who do you think I am, Donald Trump? I don't need a small loan of a million dollars. Huh. Well, I guess I can't open this until I power everything up again. Wait a second. Those things are going to be respawned, aren't they? I think they are. Oh, maybe not. Alright. Okay, that's where we came from. I know that much. Is there any side doors up here? No, there wasn't. So. Now. Oh jeez! Oh crap, there's more than one in here. There's more than one. Why would there be more than one? That's a bad thing. <laughs> I forgot about this room. <laughs> I'm probably being snuck up on right now. Please don't sneak up on me. Why has it always got to be spiders? It's a freaking Mega Man game. I mean, give me a break here. This isn't Resident Evil. Mega Man, I'm seeing something funny on my monitor. It looks like there's a false wall or something. There's probably a secret room in there. Okay. Well, remember that. Oh right. Actually it shows up on the radar. Oh, wait. No, I remember exactly what it is. First of all, let me try this. No. Aim at the ceiling. It's the ceiling. Ha. Ah. All right. What's in here? Um. Okay, good. Can't do that yet. Just gotta go back. And. Have to activate the power somehow. Well, obviously the power is coming from the ID card. So. I think they are. 
just need to uh, obviously I'm gonna have to go this way. Alright. One of these ways leads out of the dungeon, so. I swore there was a hole in this room somewhere. I guess not. Can I climb on top of it? Nope. Alright then. That, lo that looks like the generator you've been waiting for. Can you get it to work? Activate. Alright! You should be able to get the elevator to work now. Okay. Simply overjoyed by that. Considering what I'm gonna run into in this dungeon. <clears throat> there might be something here that I can get without having to blast through a wall. So I'll get this real quick. Hopefully it'll be something worth getting. Crap, there's nothing else I can do but get this one treasure chest. But alright, I'll take it. Ancient book. That is another part for the shining laser. Necessary for it. I mean, I remember that the shiny laser was kind of weirdly shaped in this game. Whoa! Chill with the fires! Now, I normally wouldn't bother killing these things since I just came back, but I need the money. It's either a part for the active buster or it's another um, buster part. Now that I think about it, I never checked to see if those uh, parts that I got before from the bombs are worth it. Let's see, replace that. And that gives me some range but gets rid of the energy. And that gives more power and gives some rapid. Why can't you just give me some bloody energy? That'd be great. Did 
Just a thought. It's not worth it. Whoa! Well, I did not mean to shoot myself, but okay. Things make no noise whatsoever, that's why they're a little creepy. They just sneak up on you and slap you in the face. I tend to make noises when they jump at you. You know what? Ow. For the sake of everybody's sanity, I'll just try to move. It's not worth just farming everything for money drive everybody insane if I did that. The thing is, what is this guy? Oh, is this the room I started in? I think this might be the room I st No! Chill, please. Chill. Thank you. Always gotta dash at me. Now. What's in here again? This is the console room. I think I know where I'm going. This way, then. Okay, chill out with the spiders, please. I know. It you saw it the like first time I did this wall room. Or something. There's probably a secret room in there. I don't remember it repeating itself like this. Although it is a PS1 game, so maybe that just just part for the course. Pretty sure this is where I have to hey, go for the Mega last Man? key. Have you ever wondered where the Reaverbots came from? And here they talk about creepy I mean, stuff. Who made them and why? You know, we go around and around doing digs all over the place, but is it right? It's almost like stealing. Mega Man! I'm picking up three Reaverbots close by! Watch out! I remember when I was a kid, this scared the ever living crap out of me. It's actually just sitting there talking about something ominous and suddenly three giant freaking wolf robots after me. I'm not sure why they're wolves, but okay.
Give me your money. All of your monies. Signal. I think it's safe. Alright. I think this is the dungeon that acts really creepy all of a sudden. Where? We do something here and then suddenly every Reaver bot in this dungeon is gone for no reason. Supposed to be a hole up here or something. No holes. I guess not. Oh, this should be the last ID card. Yep. Alright. So now. Well, essentially, I'm done with this dungeon. These dungeons were longer. They're, more, they're kind of fun. Well, they're actually yeah, they actually are fun. What am I saying? Um, but yeah, this dungeon's done. And now I move on to the next one. Well, no, actually, um, yeah, I'm finished here. Oh yeah, I know what I'm about to do. Just say, so is there no way to call that elevator back down now that I'm down here? Son of a muffin. Alright. Guess I got to go through the other exit. Something like Shiraku something. And also a bunch of Japanese names. Like the first boss was called a Hanmaru doll, I think. Right, that's where I came from. And then this probably leads to the elevator that went down. Yeah, or came up from down there. Now, I'll go this way. Maybe? No, nope, never mind. Go back up. Wait a second. No, yeah, I'm right. I think I'm right. I hope I'm right. the other door. Really? Come on. Wait, was it downstairs then? Maybe it's just downstairs. Oh, maybe this is it. Yeah, here's the creepy room. Checking ID card. 
cards. Prototype Android ID confirmed. Emergency system activated. Come on, game. Don't freak out on me now. This is it. Once I'm inside the main gate, we should be able to figure out why the reader was activated like that. But how come we can read these ancient letters? It's because you're not human. And now we open the main gate, which is very ominous. But it also has a very awesome theme song on the outside of it. Garden Forest. Let's go to the R and D room. Time to make a very <coughs> important weapon. Hans Unis was used to make the active buster or special weapon. Buster more arm mounted. Fires homing missiles. Check the nearest enemy. Still have enhancements I can make to this depending on you choose to improve it. It can become your most powerful weapon. The target sensor and total ones will be used to make the Buster Part Sniper Scope. Increases your firing range as far as it'll go. For this you'll be able to take down Reaver Pots before they even see you coming. Now... This thing... Unfortunately, it's also extremely expensive to upgrade. Oh, joy. Because I'll increase the amount of ammo. Got 5,000 to 35,000? And then 20,000 for the range? Increase that, I guess. Yeah, this thing's freaking ridiculous. These weapons get ridiculous. As far as prices go, so I'll increase the firepower. Increase the rapid. No, I guess I'll increase the range the next upgrade. However long that's gonna take. Uh, what do I think I can give you? Oh yeah, music box. Now I remember. Got a prize in a race. Now you've got a music box. Talk to data. 
Save. So with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, favor, and, well, like and subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, I guess I'll see you in the next episode, and the next episode comes even more action, which is specifically why I needed this weapon, because this next thing that's about to happen freaking sucks. So, I'll do that in the next episode. See you then. Have a good night, everybody.